हेलो एवरी वन आई एम विनीत त्रिभुवन फ्रॉम वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी शैल सी हाउ टू सॉल्व ऑल पेयर्स शॉर्टेस्ट पाथ प्रॉब्लम इन अ गिवन वेटेड ग्राफ एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन यू विल बी एबल टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम बाय डायनेमिक प्रोग्रामिंग अप्रोच so what exactly is the all pairs shortest path problem okay so in this problem we have a directed graph which is a set of v and e where v stands for vertices and e stands for a set of edges now these edges are weighted the graph is weighted and every edge has a integer valued weight associated with it and this particular weight of a edge may be positive or negative so the solution to the problem is or uh, we have to find the shortest path between any two pair of no vertices this is the problem so we are given a graph we are given the vertices and the edges are marked with weights and we have to find the shortest path between any two pair of nodes so how does dynamic programming provide a solution to this particular problem firstly we find the adjacency matrix which holds the cost of every weight in the graph then in the initial matrix cost of vertex i to i that is from a particular vertex 1 to itself will always be zero and if there is no edge between two particular nodes say for example i and j then we will mark it as infinity if that particular edge does not exist in the set e now we will compute n plus 1 matrices including the initial matrix so if we have n nodes we will construct or we will find out n plus 1 matrices and the final matrix will hold the shortest path between any vertices now this is the equation that we will be using the formula is a of k of ij equals minimum of a of ij in the previous matrix that is k minus 1 comma a of k minus 1 that is in the previous matrix the value that we find is ik plus kj now this kth index or this kth vertex will be the intermediate node it will be the node from where we are accessing the path so we will see how to apply this particular formula in the upcoming slides so consider the graph given it has three vertices 1 2 and 3 this is the initial matrix a0 we have marked 1 to 1 as 0 2 to 2 as 0 and distance that is edge 3 to 3 as 0 because there is no self loop we have marked edge 3 to 2 as infinity because there is no direct path leading from 3 to 2 and the rest of the edges are marked respectively as the weight stated in the graph now we shall see how to compute the minimum weight between any two nodes so how do we solve it we are going to find out four mat matrices here we have found out the initial matrix a0 now how do we find a1 in a1 the three values of cost from 0 to 0 1 to 1 2 to 2 will be zero because there is no self loop now if we carefully see <coughs> first row and the first column has been kept constant the reason being the value of k when we are computing a1 is 1 that is why first row and the first column values will be same and we have taken it from the previous matrix as it is now in this matrix we are required to find only two values that is 2 3 year and 3 2 year so a1 of 2 3 is as the formula suggests previous minimum of previous value of 2 3 that is 
टू कॉमा थ्री इफ वी सी दैट इज फोर और ए जीरो ऑफ टू वन दैट इज ए जीरो मैट्रिक्स एंड द वैल्यू इज टू वन दैट इज एट प्लस ए जीरो ऑफ वन थ्री दैट इज थर्टीन सो वी सी दैट द मिनिमम वैल्यू इज फोर सो फोर इज रिटेन्ड इन ए वन द वैल्यू फोर इज रिटेन्ड इन ए वन फॉर ए वन ऑफ टू थ्री Now we, if we compute a one of three two, we will compare two values. One is a zero of three two in the previous matrix that is infinity, and a zero of three comma one plus one comma two. Why we, are we considering one? Because the value of k is one, and k is our intermediate vertex. So three comma one plus one comma two. We are just seeing whether there is an indirect path which is lower. Then the infinity value here and yes, three to one and one to two is minimum. Then infinity, so we consider eleven. So here we see that our weight here is updated. So it has reduced from infinity to eleven. Now we come once we have found out a one, we have to find a two. Now again these three values will be kept as zero. The second row. and the second column values will be kept as const constant and taken as it is from the previous matrix because we are having the value of k equals 2 now we are required to find two values that is a2 of 1 3 and a2 of 3 1 so applying the same formula a2 of 1 3 equals minimum of two values one value is the previous uh, Uh, matrix value of one three that is a one of one three that is thirteen if you see here, or a one of one two plus a one of two three. Now two why are we considering two here because two is our kth value so we compute one to two and two to three. So one to two and two to three is six plus four that is thirteen. So we come to know that our value is updated and it is getting minimum than thirteen. So we uh write the value of a2 of 1 3 to 10 now we have to find out a2 of 3 1 so a2 of 3 1 equals previous value that is a1 of 3 1 or a1 of 3 to 2 and 2 to 1 that is 3 to 2 plus 2 to 1 so minimum between two values that is 5 or 11 plus 8 so we come to know that 5 is minimum amongst the two values so we retain it as it is and the value 5 is retained now next we have to find out a3 now similarly a3 when we find out as we have been uh, doing it since the value of k is 3 we keep the third column and the third row as constant because it requires us to Uh, keep it as constant uh, from the previous matrix we take the values and keep it as it is and now we will find out a3 of 1 comma 2 and a3 of 2 comma 1 so we compare it between two values one is a2 of 1 comma 2 that is the previous value that is 6 or a2 of 1 comma 3 plus a2 of 3 comma 2 again i am i would like to repeat why 3 because 3 is the kth value so we compute 1 2 3 and 3 to 2 so if we find out what is the minimum 6 comma 10 plus 11 so we come to know that the minimum value is 6 so we retain the value as it is at as 6 similarly a3 if we see a3 of 2 comma 1 it will be a2 of 2 comma 1 that is the value in the previous matrix that is 8 or a2 of 2 comma 3 plus a2 of 3 comma 1 so we come to know that 8 is less than this value so we retain the value as it is and this is the final matrix that we get now 1 to 2 will be 6 1 to 3 will be 10 so we see that 1 to 3 is has uh, has a direct edge of 13 but if we see that 1 to 2 is 6 and uh, 2 to 3 is 10 so our a distance between 1 to 3 the pair of nodes that is 1 to 3 is reduced from 13 to 10 similarly 2 to 1 is 8 2 to 3 is 4 3 to 1 is 5 3 to 2 is reduced to 11 so this is the final matrix and this is the final 
weight between any two pair of nodes so this is the solution for our problem so in the at this point in time i want you to pause the video consider the graph given and find the shortest path from node a to node f pause the video and answer the question So if you have carefully followed the procedure that we have discussed in the video lecture, the final matrix that you get will be something like this and the value if you see the graph and the values from A to F will be 10 where A to F is A to B is 4 and B to F is 6. So if you add up these two values 4 plus 6 you will get 10 which is the shortest path from node A to node F. So this is the summary of the video lecture. All pair shortest path provides the minimum distance between any pair of node in the weighted directed graph. The algorithm can also deal with edges having negative weighted, uh, having uh, with graphs having negative weighted edges. And the final cost adjacency matrix while computing the minimum weights gives us the minimum distance between the nodes. These are the references that I have used. Thank you.